it's very important to safeguard heritage and especially when heritage is intangible like dance where it's developed from one generation to the next. Startup Collective was an initiative that started uh, in 2018 do something towards the world of dance that I come from. And the reason why I felt it was necessary was because I had been in this career since 2015. Uh, I kept going on and on in this constant maze of weddings or, or events. And this was when I felt that I need to develop a product that can be presented for the theater. For one thing, this dance is practiced by women in a very patriarchal society. For years, women have not really desired to enter this career simply because it objectifies women. I mean, uh, if all you're seen as is someone who dances in places where there's massive amounts of alcohol, you're wearing an extremely revealing costume and you're constantly subjecting yourself to various forms of abuse, you would be reluctant to get into this career unless you are desperate for money or survival. We are actually creating a safe space for women who want to practice this dance in a safe environment where they can think about developing their art form rather than surviving. There are three pillars, I would say, for, for Tarab. Um, the first one is Tausik, and Tausik is basically the research project that we're doing to present the file to UNESCO so that we can register the dance as national intangible heritage and urgent need of safeguarding. Pillar number two would be Taksim Institute, which would teach the dance and the accompanying music of the dance in a, in a proper academic way. The third one would be uh, the production company of Tarab, which produces content related to you know, this kind of performance art heritage. And one of the shows that we have produced is the Golden Age of Egyptian Cinema Tribute. It was very challenging to deal with the way society looks at dancers, the way society looks at the dance itself, trying to enter spaces which normally uh, this kind of dance did not enter and being successful to do that, that in itself was a challenge. I, I think that there is a huge uh, overlap in the way that uh, the cultural restoration in Cairo is happening, as well as this restoration that I'm working on, on my part with, with the Egyptian dance, simply because um, every culture has its forms of expression that it's famous for. And so it's very important that Egypt addresses and really solidifies this part of its heritage.